Now, I don't go to the beach in the winter, but apparently there are people out there that do the same thing all year round. Go figure. Now, again, I'm going to be talking about this masterpiece, this game right here, because quite frankly, it's such a good game, I could probably dedicate an entire channel to it. If you want to be a social reject, if you want to be like a bunch of these other clowns on the internet that have no life and don't do anything with it, then buy this game. It is that good. It will make you create a channel and have you doing 20 minute unboxings in no time. So, which really begs the question, seeing how this game is so good, not only is it one of the best games on the Wii, it is one of the best RPGs created, it is one of the best games this generation. Why does a guy who proclaims himself as the Emperor of Nintendo not own this game? Consider yourself dethroned. The mayor will resume control of all your opportunities and all your responsibilities. But moving on, this game right here, Xenoblade Chronicles, brought to you by Monolith, published by Nintendo, brought over to you by Xseed, is without a doubt one of the freshest and best experiences I've had in gaming since Deus Ex Human Revolution, and before that since I can't even let you know. I, I don't remember, period. Instantly, within three hours of playing this game, I knew this game was an epic. Instantly, within 20 hours of this game, this game will be in my memory as like the grace of Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy VI, Xeno Gears. This is the blueprint for a JRPG. Square Enix, you need to take note. Take out your little notepad, pull a little Sony, and start copying. Because you need to get it down like this, with vast open worlds to explore, and not like long, narrow corridors like Endless Hallway 13. I don't care if you're a Sony fan, I don't care if you're a Nintendo fan, I don't care if you're a drone or a slave to a corporation or a company. For all you people out there that complain about first person shooters, that complain about American games, that complain that Japanese games don't get enough exposure, that complain that there aren't good enough JRPGs out there, that complain that people slight JRPGs, if you do not have this game, you are a hypocrite. You are contradicting yourself, period. I don't care if you only own a PlayStation 3. If you like Japanese RPGs, go to the GameStop, buy a Wii U's, rent a Wii, borrow one, steal one, buy and play this game. Immediately. And if I find out you're pirating this game, if I find out you're buying this game used, I will pull a dark cloud on you. I will ask for your address and I will come find you. Because the people that made this game deserve every penny for crafting this amazing masterpiece. There is not one character in this story that I dislike. All the characters so far are good. We're dealing with characters that are young, young adults, you know, things like that. We're not talking about a bunch of kids, a bunch of 10 year olds, 11 year olds, 12 year olds trying to save the world. Things like that crap. The enemies are good. They're menacing. They're challenging. The combat is fresh. It's dynamic. It's none of that clicking through menu stuff. You can actually move around and do things. And more importantly, where you're positioned on the battlefield and where you're positioned in locations and things like that can affect the battle. You have different skills, you have different characters, you get bored with one character, hey, choose another character. Whoever's your main character, whoever's your lead character in the party, that is the character you control. The music, as you can probably hear in the background, is beyond epic. It sets the entire tone for the game. You get music for when you're wandering around and you're just gazing upon the scenery. You get different music from when you're in battles, you get different music from when you're in tight battles, you get different music from when you're in boss battles. And the tempo and the music changes depending on how the battles go and how the battles are faring, how they're changing. It's just dynamic. Another thing I like about the characters is the conversations. I mean, I've played games like Star Ocean, games like Final Fantasy XIII, and if somebody were to walk into my place when I'm playing those games, I'll be embarrassed or hit the mute button because the voiceovers in most of these games are just god awful. But the voiceovers in this game are good. Uh, unfortunately, they had to be British or English, Feral Instincts. I know I don't like people with accents, but they get the point across, they get the tempo across, they get the vocals across to make it believable. The characters aren't these amazingly powered, 
overpowered, insane freaks. I mean, maybe they're not yet, but where I'm at, they aren't. They're ordinary people doing ordinary and sometimes extraordinary things. Another thing I like is the characters are actually vocal with each other. In battle, out of battle, they try to get each other up, they make fun of each other, they talk crap to the enemies, they get their ups, they get their downs, etc. The world is vast, it's huge, it's amazing. I mean, at first you would think that'd be a problem wanting to trudge and walk miles and miles from point A to point B, but the reality is, it's just, you really can't complain about it because there's so much to explore, there's so many things to do, and not only that, it's just fun walking around everywhere. I mean, it gives you fast travel, so once you explore points, you can actually bang, 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 boom, bang to different points. You don't have to always run everywhere, but the world is huge, the world is amazing, the world is very colorful, the scenery is amazing, and the world takes place on two giants that were fighting each other to a battle over Eon, so you really can't complain about that either. This game gets my highest recommendation for any game ever this generation. Unless your name is Solid Rev, Exposing Lanes, you just like to shoot things, etc. You will not like this game. To which I feel bad for you, but as far as anybody who likes Japanese games goes, as far as anybody who likes JRPGs goes, must have instant buy. Get up out of your seat right now, go out, find it, bring it home, play 